Greetings in the name of Jesus. Thank you for coming through on our daily clips. I've got a good word for you today. And thank you for all the support and all the Facebook messages you're sending us on, on tweet, on WhatsApp, on everything else. And don't forget our numbers at the end of the screen. You can send us WhatsApp if you want to know where we are, want to know what we do. You want to send me an email. You want to request anything. Remember, online we're still a church, even though we're not gathering, but we're there for you. We want to make sure that you feel our presence and make sure that you take these daily clips and send them to friends, put them on WhatsApp, put them on your statuses and, and put it out there. Let them know God is doing something at our church. We're sharing the word. We, food is is food is dished out, you know, spiritual food is dished out and you can receive a word of the Lord. Okay, I'm going to read from Lamentations chapter 3. I'm going to start from reading from verse number 21, 22, 23 and 24. That's where we get a scripture reading. I love the word of God. I don't know if you're excited about the word like I am. It says, Lamentations 3, 21. This I recall to my mind. Okay, so your mind has got to recall. Recall, which means I bring to memory. There are certain things about God you'll miss if you don't think about and bring to your memory. I recall to my mind. Memory recall and mind recall is to bring back, to play the tape again of the good things that God has done for your life. Remember one of these major sins that God told the children of Israel when he put them into the promised land. He said one thing. He says, I've given you the land for free. Only don't forget about me. Don't forget the Lord your God. Sometimes most of us, there's, 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 we lose power in forgetting. We lose direction in forgetting. In forgetting about what God, where God has taken you through, where he has taken it out of. Now that you set, you find some people forget about God. Forget where you come from. Forget the people that have been good to you. He says, yeah, this I recall to my mind. Therefore, I have hope. So my memories bring me hope because in the things that God has done for me, I draw hope because no one would have done for me what God did for me. Oh my God. And today, we're drawing power from our past where God has been good to us. It says, verse 22, through the Lord's mercies, we are not consumed. That word consumed, you are not completely obliterated. Through the Lord's mercies, not through connections through his mercy, which means when people had a plan, they hashed up a plan to consume you, to take you out, to finish off with you. The mercies of God surrounded you. Oh God, thank God for your mercies. I think this is a day for us to rejoice. It's a devotion. You are allowed to be personal with God about where he has taken you through, what he has done in your life. Think about where your friends have fallen. Think about the people that you grew up with are nowhere to be found. But you are the only one, one man standing, one woman standing, because God has been good to you. He says you have not been consumed, not because you're clever, you're smart, you're handsome, you're beautiful, because you dress well, you know better because of a position. But someone has contributed, granted you mercy to make sure that you are alive, to see this day and to serve him in your, in your generations. So therefore, don't keep quiet. Don't keep quiet. Talk about it. He says, through the Lord's mercy, we're not consumed because his compassions fail not. He's a merciful God. His compassions do not fail. I like that part that says fail not. What about other things of God that do not fail? His compassions. Other things that do not fail? His mercy. Other things of God that do not fail? His grace. He does not fail. Failure is not part of God's makeup, how who he, who he is. When he sets out to do something, just be sure you have joined the winning team. He's not a failing God. It goes on to say, as I finish it, they are new every morning. Great is their faithfulness. What are new every morning? Is his compassions. They are new every morning. It says he, he refreshes his, his mercies every day. I like that thinking, that he refreshes his, his mercies and his compassions every day. They are new every morning. So God doesn't give you stale food from yesterday. So therefore, what happened yesterday is not sufficient to take you forward. Even God understands that principle. And therefore, you must always, if his mercies are new every day, that's why you go on your knees. That's why you come close to God. You meditate, you think, you pray to God to find the new compassion for the new challenges you're going to face. Remember, the amount of compassion you, face, you, you receive is directly, uh, directly linked to the plans of the devil he has against you to try to consume you. Says you are not consumed because of his mercies. His compassions are new every day. So when you celebrate his compassion, you celebrate your victory over all kinds of attacks that can ever come in your life. Come on, child of God. Don't, don't let God down. Celebrate his compassion. Thank him for the new mercies. Recognize that today he's got something new for you because you're going to face new challenges today. What lies are heard? 
needs new things from God because what lied behind, what was new yesterday has solved it yesterday. You must appreciate it. It says, great is their faithfulness. God is great. His faithfulness is great. What is, is, is his faithfulness? His forever commitment to you that he will never let you down. He'll never change his mind about what he said. His promises remain true to you. His great is our faithfulness. I like verse 24. It says, the Lord is my portion, says my soul. Therefore, I hope, I hope in him. A portion is your peace in life. Everybody here has a peace in life. Uh, some have got a peace in media. Some have got a peace in education. Some have got a peace in ministry. You've got a portion, a peace that belongs to you. And the Lord is your portion in your area of expertise, in your area of interest, in your area of calling. Nobody would ever duplicate what only you can do. You must always know that God is backing you up. He's giving you a niche. He has created a space for you in the market. You must take advantage of it. Nobody now and later can take your place. You must rise up, child of God, and take your place because the Lord is your, is your portion. The Lord has got your back. The Lord's mercy are surrounding you. No, that's why you will never be consumed. That's why you will never die on the job. That's why you'll never fail in what you're doing because his compassion faileth not. He will. He can't be a God who doesn't fail and let you fail. He'll pass on that ability to stand strong, to be agile, to be resilient, to be strong to you. I bless you those words. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for your word. We thank you for letting us know your mercies are new every day. Help us to learn how to celebrate your newness every day. May we never bring old thinking to new mercies. May we learn to flow with the new mercies daily. In Jesus' name, amen.